that we're on this video here because if it's not how we're doing guys hello so guys behind me i will stand you will see how big it is it's a 410 watt panel and there is nothing super significant about it apart from that it's huge <laughs> and super cheap like for the time of the recording and these panels are about 60 pounds brand new now i was checking ebay way way back and these prices were dropping you know they dropped down to about 150 140 pounds so let's go back to the picture here you know and and you could buy it in those prices that's used so i i'm not talking used yes here um buy it now brand new oh that's pre yeah pre-owned <laughs> look brand new you see one meter 700 centimeters yes as well so that's about what we have here um, and then these prices are up and down all over the eBay yes so if we will go to this auction for instance wattage if we will take 400 oh look they don't have it they've got 300 watts okay so 300 two pieces that's 309 so that's about still 150 per one panel whereas look what I bought here it's called I will need to see what you see. Okay, you don't see the top. So it says City Plumbing website, City Plumbing. Okay, and we've got a branch in Livingstone and look at the price. I paid 54 plus VET or something and now it's even few quid cheaper like four pounds uh, maybe less than or about four pounds yes difference so you know like if if you planned to get a solar panel and and you struggle you know because you know the price wasn't so great now is the time to consider it buying it uh, because now the prices are super cheap and you can check the data sheet is here of the solar module i can say guys you know on this youtube channel i was showing the other day um you would have to check some videos back mppt controller which is open source diy with open source firmware i mean and you can build it yourself if if you want you know i'm buying those pcbs to build it and i will be building you can observe this youtube channel so if you will buy these panels yes um, the one kilowatt uh, controller after can be built either by someone who you know or you you doing it yes you can solder stuff and microelectronics or you can ask someone like me or someone else you know to do it for you but uh, why build and not buy MPPT controller for the char for charging batteries one it's an MPPT controller so it's dear okay so you will go and buy sub for about 100 pounds 150 200 pounds depend where you will buy it from or from who you will buy it from two it's up to the standards so that's mean it has app for the mobile phone um it has just everything what you need from the uh, solar control yes or in general controller plus it can work in the mode of stable um, input or variable input yes like you get from solar panels or wind turbine uh, etc yes so if if you can boil that one and anything goes wrong you can fix it or you can send to us to fix it whereas if you will buy the one from the shop what customers are coming and when i see the controller chip is faulty we can't program it you know it, once it's faulty it's just doomed that's it so it's you know your value to money i would say is on the side of if you if i can get the same performance similar price why won't get the fixable one yes that's common sense then you hook it up to this one 
and you take in uh, old car batteries if you can't afford because you can find them that's not a problem or um, if you have a lot of old spare laptop batteries you check which cells are good buying cheap spot welder spot welding them and making a bank of the batteries okay uh, from cells if you know how to do it and um, or you can buy as i bought last year calcium um, it's a deep cycle calcium battery okay if it's a calcium battery that means it's a technology like a regular leaded battery for the car but you can go down with power far more than you would be doing with regular lead acid battery so in that case you don't you don't use it so quickly yes because if you will use a regular car battery it will go you know degrade degradation period will be much quicker but if you can buy a calcium battery it will last you longer they are popular for camper vans etc mobile houses and so on so then you can use this one or if you can afford LIFE PO4s are dropping down significantly and these batteries yes they are dear but lit ion and uh, LIFE PO4s are dropping and they should further drop on prices so if you can use temporary solution for now for the storage and then you can use you know um, the power later uh, in the new batteries which you will buy then that's a good solution as well but for those prices you know it's like not getting solar panels now when you will gonna get them yes if they are so cheap I don't believe they will drop down to half of the price now I don't believe that yes um, at least not really quickly you know because the drop was just now you could get them for about 90 to 110 and that's the drop which I see and only in this shop city planning here so I don't know if you live in the UK if you've got the city planning uh, locally but they do deliver as well um, and it's it's time now to buy them I would say because it, if you will save 10 pounds on the panel how many pounds you'll buy 10 you know if you will buy 10 panels you will save 100 pounds but you're risking that the price will go up for instance or they won't be available yes so i would say you know the, the savings now at this stage is like mm, you know it's not a lot uh, i would say now is is a good price even if you will yes lose the 20 percent i would say it's still value in it and it's it's more than possible to, to to you know to have it for the good price because you see the price it's good yes so to sum up prices have dropped significantly you pay about 60 panels per solar panel i've showed you what the website where you can get mppt controller which is far greater on efficiency comparing to the ones i was using so pwm controller and then you know how to get cheap batteries now all you need is any sort of inverter but please keep in mind that the pure sign inverter is the way to go if you will go for the regular inverter you can kill some of the devices or you might demo uh, damage the inverter you need pure sign that's mean 50 hertz yes it doesn't have to be pure but quite close yes so yes pure science now the same story with inverters if you will buy cheap inverter it's cheap quality when it will die it will die and when the controller is dying you can't do anything um, when you will have the in-grid one i don't know how they are properly called but then you can connect it to your mains I don't know is it legal or not legal i don't use it so i don't know i never looked into it yes but sometimes customers are bringing it yes they've got solar panels at home wind turbines etc you know and then they are having these ones yes uh, so they have some i think current some going to the grid back to the grid yes i don't know i as i said i never checked but i know they are as well because customers are bringing them to to fix them every so often um, 
So I'm using regular pure sign inverter. I was trying to build one last year, but I see that I'm losing like 20 watts on idle. So I said, ooh, that's too much. So I will be looking into proper, better quality um, inverter. And if I will lose, you know, about 10 watts on it, then that's okay. But 20 watts is quite a lot. You know, you're losing a lot of wattage. Um, per each hour of work, you know, if we're talking about, if, if I would have something switch on permanently 24 hours, yes, and this would be on all the time, then if I'm using, losing 20 watts, then it's 480 watts, you know, w in one go. So that panel would have to serve only as a buffer uh, to, you know, to get the energy to the battery so that I can use it and, and lose it on the inverter, which is ridiculous. <laughs> so that's why I'm trying to build the MPPT controller, which will allow me to save up to 98% power from the solar panel. And then I'm trying to, I will try to find the uh, inverter, which will won't have such much losses. Yes, because you've got back and boost, boost converters with technologies where they are more efficient up to 96 or 98 percent efficient so as we have open source diy um mppt controller like commercial ones are for sure we can find as well inverter and if no we can find because we know how these inverters are working uh, there is no secrecy about it and you've got eg or EGS002 modules, which are available for peanuts on uh, AliExpress or, or eBay or somewhere, maybe Amazon has them as well. Um, and you can build pure sign inverter based on that. But again, the efficiency depends on various aspects of the design you're doing, yes? Plus it's a high voltage, so it can kill most of the people, yes? So I would say we need to find one open source uh, and, and DIY design or if no ask people who know how to design electronics what to and how to modify it to be more efficient i would say that half bridge topology or full bridge topology makes more sense uh, because the efficiency of those is far greater than the regular cheap inverters yes and that's what i will be aiming for and that's what i will be looking okay guys we've got over 12 minutes i think i've told everything um, again, you don't have to invert it to 230 um, AC if you've got devices like me, 12 volt uh, ones. Uh, you can use low voltage as well, yes? And you can use solder on it like me. You can um, have only one boost uh, converter, DC to DC boost converter, for instance, for the a soldering iron if you if it can get up to 24 volts and you've got only 12 um, then you can boost it but i rather use 24 volt system at home or even 48 volt just because you don't need such thick wires at the end yes if you if you don't have a need for such thick wires you pay cheaper for those wires yes so that makes sense uh, plus you can pull more watts as well and you've got less resistance so you're losing less so the, the common sense is to start off minimum of 24 volts but consider 48 in a long-term run i would say that's why i want to have two systems i'll have one at the back as i had last year and one, the, one at the front that's why i bought this one additional one and i will connect one of my um, panels with this one probably and then four panels at the back and uh, that's why I want to build two MPPT controllers, yes? And I will be checking always one system is for checking more than, than it's for efficient work here. Uh, so what I can tinker with, and I'm not afraid that, you know, my system is failing now, yes? So one system will be always on, second will be always further developed. If that one will have, let's say, 10% increase, I will see if it's worth for me now to spend money to maybe modify that one, yes? And then when I will have that one, uh, can I improve anything in any of them? Yes, so that that's my way of thinking uh, If I would build only one system, I would be depend on it and I would say okay, so I'm either further developing it and losing on it or uh, Not have the energy because I scrub something. Yes, 
So that, that's my way of thinking, but hey ho, that's me. I've got solar panels for free from the customer. I spent 64 pounds on this panel, so that's not huge risk. And I bought two new batteries only, the lead acid calcium batteries. So it's not a huge spendings with some wiring. And then only those uh, parts for MPPT controllers and inverters. So I didn't, I didn't spend a small fortune because these prices now dropped, yes? So guys, thank you. Uh, that's everything. Hope you like the video. Please leave us a like button or comment something because the more you comment, the more you like it, more video is, is you know, um, shown on the internet and that helps us grow this channel. Thank you guys. See you in the next video. Bye bye.